hello trader this is patrick now that you have this video i must say that you are really blessed because this is this video is one of a kind it's going to make you quite some money in the forex market okay i hope you or i wish you use it wisely you help your family you help your community you become humble don't become too proud with the money okay always remember god men of power are humble great men are humble okay so on this strategy you are going to be trading eurocad on the five minute time frame and you are going to start looking for trades during the new york session okay i know that eurocad might make its moves uh, on the london session but really you are supposed to look for trades on the new york session so the strategy is very easy like my other strategies you know i use key levels for my strategies what you are going to do is observe two key levels okay i'll show you how, how to identify them you are going to draw two key levels and then after drawing the two key levels you will wait for price to either close below so that you take a sell and if you take a sell you put your stop loss above that key level or for price to close above if it closes above you take a buy and you put your stop loss below this key level it's as easy as that this strategy is so 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 powerful above 80 percent win rate okay so this is how you are going to do it you are going to wait for price let's say this box is the new york new york session you're going to wait for price to get into the new york session when it gets to the new york session wait for it to play until it gives you the first pivot the first pivot is going to be your first key level okay and then you wait for price to play again until it gives you the second pivot the second pivot is your second key level is as that the rest is history it's just what i told you so that's it let us just go to the real charts so on the real charts remember what i told you you just let price get into the new york session okay and right here this was the first pivot that it gave us okay let me just draw price came into the new york session okay it came into the new york session pulled up when it pulled up you mark that first pivot as the first key level okay and then you wait for price to play again it went up pulled down again giving us the second key level so now you wait for price to either close below or above okay so when price closed below you take the cell you would have taken the cell somewhere right there you place your first cell trade mm, let me use this just like that you put your stop loss just above as i have illustrated okay just above that key level most of the time most of the time price is going to pull back to test this key level when price pulls back to the meekly of these two key levels you may place your second trade okay you place your second trade and then price is going to pull back into your direction once price has made the retest make sure to reduce your size okay make sure to reduce your size like that and then after reducing your size you can use a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 2 or of 1.5 and then you make your money you get out okay let's take a few more examples you're going to do most of the analysis for yourself right here you wouldn't have had a trade okay it's not every day that you're going to be having trades because price got here pulled back when it pulled back you mark your first key level there 
and then you wait for price to play again it went down when it pulled back you mark your second key level you mark even the weeks traders okay you mark even the pins that you see they are called weeks and then throughout the new york session price was ranging and if price is ranging it will not allow you to have a signal so this day was not good for trading okay this was today what happened price went into the new york session pulled back and gave you this first key level okay and then price pulled down and then up again and gave you this second key level so when price closed below that key level there you would have taken a sell trade okay you take a sell trade you hold for a moment okay you would have gotten in profit for a while and of course beware of these areas okay don't throw away your past knowledge of forex because clearly you can see that this region here is a key level in the market price rejected 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 so you would use this area to take some of your profits okay or when price is around here you reduce your stop loss okay just do a little bit of uh, risk management let us look at a few more examples you're going to do much of the back testing for yourself okay you have to do a little bit of work for yourself so that you get used to these charts you might even discover your own way to improve the strategy okay right here what happened price got into the new york session and pulled up giving us this first key level okay when it went up and came down again it gave us the second key level when it closed below that it gave us a sell entry okay uh, see that this strategy is very powerful but the targets are not that much okay the targets are not that much so just hold how many pips is this okay let me just check this is uh, somewhat 38 pips okay let me check the first one maybe we can measure it in terms of pips how long was this uh, let's check check this was 33 pips okay how long was that this was uh, 23 pips okay uh, you can then find the average in terms of pips that's what you do so that you know that from each trade how much should you expect how much should you expect once price is in profit and it makes these moves you reduce your stop level to be above this key level okay so that's how you do it right here let's see price got into the new york gave us this first pivot okay this would be the first key level and then it went up there and then came down that would be the second key level okay so on this day there was no clean trade okay right here this strategy strategy is able to filter out the ranging days okay watch what happened on this day price got into the new york went up 
gave us that pullback so that would be the first key level okay and then let me just widen it and then it pulled up giving us the second key level okay when price closed below there there you would have entered your trade okay let's check how many pips was this mm, let's take it from here this was 30 pips okay so far we are around 30 pips okay let's check on this day okay price came in it came in right here mm, this one is a bit tricky it started by moving up and then pulled down giving us this first key level okay and then uh, price pulled down pulled up again giving us this okay giving us this second key level when price closed below there you would have taken your trade okay this was quite a short one how long was this 23 pips okay 23 pips uh, let's check what we have right here the strategy is king traders price came down first giving us this first pivot okay key level went up giving us that key level you would have taken your trade where there all right let's see how long was that this was uh 30 it was 33 pips okay all right let's see what happened right here price came down gave us this first key level okay this was the first key level and then it went up okay it went up and pulled back giving us this key level okay when it closed above you would have taken a buy where they okay after taking the buy let's see how many pips it gave us okay from that buy it gave us 22 pips okay i think the 20s can be an average but right here there was a pullback at a pullback i like to put a few more trades okay that's how i maximize profits otherwise traders this strategy i think it's it's even close to 90 percent or above so right here it was ranging let's see if it would have given us an entry okay price started by going down and then pulled up you would have marked this region with that bottom week as your first key level okay as your first key level and then okay i know that someone who is not good at looking at the markets at this small pullback somebody else would have taken it uh, would have drawn that region there but really that is not a uh, a valid pullback right here it is still part of this turning point down here okay so the second clear key level would be up there okay so you wouldn't have had a trade on this day price was just ranging 
okay all right traders please go ahead and practice this strategy tell me the feedback after your your back testing but for me i believe so much in this thing and then decide if you are going to target uh, 20 or 25 pips okay but for me i like to be very safe in the market i am just going to kill 20 pips and get out even 15 pips get out okay i don't want to be greedy i have lost so much money when i started out in forex now i have learned so 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 much you don't have to stay in the market like it's your grandmother's place this is not your granny's place the market can really really wipe your account if you are going to keep on waiting for more okay i wish you the best right here uh i really wish you the best practice this i hope it's going to help you thank you